Hi, I'm Eric Woods, founder of Mindspace Solutions. At Mindspace, we're passionate about bringing learning to life with augmented reality, and we're really excited about what we're achieving with Imaginality. Imaginality is already running on traditional Windows computers, and it's being used by excited teachers around the world. We are very keen to get Imaginality onto mobile devices, starting with iOS and Android devices. Because it's already running on Windows computers, we can get a preview of what it will look like on mobile devices by running it on a Windows 8 tablet. So here we have the tablet running a full version of Windows 8 with Imaginality running on the desktop. Let's take a look. So this is the current interface for the desktop version of Imaginality. We realize this will have to change a little bit for mobile devices, but the basic principles will be the same. So on the left hand side we have a list of modules. We currently have over 50 modules in total and we can choose which module we're interested in and scroll through the list, uh, even sort using the column headings at the top. So once we've chosen a module we're interested in, we can then look at the details on the right hand side with a picture, a description and the ability to run the teacher's guide, a student worksheet or see a video of it in use. When we know this is the module we want to run, we can click Run. So, this is the first module we're going to look at. This is Discover the Planets, and each module starts with an introduction screen of how to use the module. So we can just click a button there to make that go away. And now we are looking at the camera view of the world. And so you'll notice when it sees these paddles down here, it'll actually replace the paddle with some augmented reality content. So in this case it is the planet Mercury, but each of the paddles in this module contains a different planet in our solar system. So the paddles by themselves, they can be moved around in 3D. You can look at lots of different information embedded in the little tags around the sides. But the, uh, it also has the ability to interact. So if we bring these two paddles together, you can see the scale of Mercury and Venus scaling down to their relative sizes. So in addition to this interaction, we also have uh, some information. So we can bring this information paddle in and touch any of the planets that we're interested in and it will tell us about that particular planet. We can push the info button to make that information scale up to be full screen to be read. Um, and in the near future, we'll also have this information read out vocally, so narrated out to you. So we're just going to have a look at a different type of interaction using a builder interaction. Okay, so here we have the human body builder, so we're just going to dismiss the intro text, and we can see on panel one here, we have the human body, the full human body, in what we call an x-ray mode. And on each of the other pedals, we have one of the parts of the human body. So in this case, we have the thyroid. So the thyroid's very small, but we can add all of these parts to the human body. So we can have a look at the information about them on the info panel, or if we bring them inside this ring here, we can add them to the human body. So you saw that flying into position in the neck, and if we do it again, we can pull it back out onto the pedal for closer inspection. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a different type of interaction, and that is in the Moon Phases Explorer. Okay, this is the Moon Phases Explorer. We'll get rid of the information text for now. We can actually run a simulation of the Moon Phases ourselves. So here we have sunlight, and that is currently waiting for something to, to light up. And we have the Earth, so now the sunlight will constantly illuminate the surface of the Earth. So we can bring that over here. And, of course, we have the Moon. And so now we have a full interactive simulation of the Moon phases. So when the Moon is furthest away from the Earth, you can see that we have the um, full Moon. And if we bring this across a little bit, and we bring the Moon through the other phases, uh, we get it back to a new Moon. So you can see a picture of what the moon looks like in that phase, the name of that phase, and you can even see where it is in relationship to a tidal chart through a one-month period. So that's a quick demonstration of imaginality. You can see how powerful it is at conveying complex concepts using hands-on interaction. As you can see, imaginality is ideal for being used on mobile devices, so we're really excited at the chance of getting it running on iOS and Android devices.